information every set. And I'm like, I love this dude. This okay. dude is goaded, but I'll tell you who is goaded right now. Cody, a very strong PR, Long Island Peach, and definitely one of the hot up and coming Peaches I can Bro. see here explosively he already does, on the back. He does things Peaches have never seen before in their entire life. I know like a lot of people say when they see Ling, like the, they notice his movement. Like especially when you notice Cody for the first time, you notice his punish game. His punish game is one of the best of Peach, if not the best that I've seen. Exactly that. Punish game is so, so explosive. As you know, as the song says, secure those hips don't lie. Right now, back air setting up beautifully in the corner, looking to set up a nice edge guard. Let's get the run back real quick this time around. Looking for the air dodge as well. Celix able to make their way back to the corner and find themselves in the center stage. Yeah. And if you guys were confused about what the, uh, <laughs> what Steelix's tag looks like, it is a five. That's supposed to be an S, guys. Come on. That's like the really cool thing that you it's, did. It's five licks. Like it's five licks, man. Five, <laughs> five Leix. <laughs> five Leix, five head. Five Leech head. Stock. All right. Yeah. Turn combo game. Let's get them rolling. See? Let's get them all rolling. Yep. 75, 74. We take those. That turn up was so explosive, but like that back here, blowing up Cody. That's gonna be going down to stock right now. But this, this really is just a punish game matchup. Yeah, isn't no, it? honestly, <laughs> because both these characters have such like explosive combo games. Where Peach is like, oh yeah, I'm doing my blow cancels, I'm doing my turn up combos. But Falco's like, let me just hit two up tilts to do like yeah. the most damage I possibly can. Yeah. So what Peach does is she pulls a turn up and then she tries to hit you with the turn up, and then she has to convert that into an air, into a bear, into an, another oh, thing. Oh no, Tech City. Falco just does. Up till, up till, up air, up air, up air. <laughs> so it's so much more simpler. <laughs> the unfortunate thing in this game currently going on right now is that Silex is down pretty bad without a lead right Roll now. The and Cody drag down up air. It's just blowing him the heck up. Ooh. As you can see, like before that, he was using the lasers to try and stop the approaches from Peach just kind of coming on in. But now he has to really play aggressive to kind of just even up the gap between them. Yeah, and Falco is not one of the best approaches in the game. One of the slowest characters in the game. Some people will say if, if Falco was just like a little faster, would be one of the best characters in the game. Honestly, um, God bless that they have no. <laughs> God, God bless that they're not that fast. Sakurai, all I'm saying is if you're gonna make uh -oh. one more patch, I'm just saying. <laughs> but as we're talking about it, Cody, glad that Falco is faster fast game because. One. He just he, he burnt that <laughs> that bird. He uh, wants to go right back, right yeah. back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Right, they, he sent Falco to the Mushroom Kingdom. That's crazy. You went into a different universe. So you had to take a. He he sent him into a black hole into the Mushroom Kingdom. And here I thought Sonic was the character that sends people to other dimensions. You yep. Know? You never know. You never know. Okay. Now we saw that. Normally, I would say like. I would love having that space as Falco because you have lasers to kind of just shut down Peach's approaches. Yeah. She has like well, a longer space to kind of run up on you, and we know Cody is really explosive in those close quarter spaces. So it's going to be pretty hard for Steelix to shut down Cody's game plan if they're not immediately just open up with the lasers to kind of stopping these approaches, looking out for I, these turnups as well. I agree with this though because the shorter the stage, the closer you are to the ledge at all times, and I think Falco is can uh, put on really good corner pressure against Cody, um, against Peach, which might be where Steelix is able to get an advantage. Yeah, but look, you whiff one move, you whiff one move, right? And this character blows you up for 67. And I mean, both these characters do that. <laughs> like, Falco can do that too. You just gotta find it. This is it. See? It's privilege versus privilege. Privilege That's the Princess Peach way. They, they both need it, they both need it. He needs it. That bird definitely needs it. <laughs> Falco definitely needs it, okay? Before the buffs, that, that character is not existent. Let I, me I, tell you. Let me tell you. But right now, this is actually pretty even. Still is in a pretty bad situation, however. Just looking to kind of, but the shield poke fair Bro, going on through. That, that did not shield poke. That was, um, that was the classic landing hit affair. Um, nobody who doesn't play Falco every day of their life remembers about that the first time they get hit by it. They always let go of shield and then they get hit by it. <laughs> Let me hit a fair, my beloved. But Celix try to go for the DI mix up. Okay. He's able to chase it with the up air. Bro, how often do you guys see a peach floating in the air and somebody challenge that? Very, not very often, right? Honestly, yeah, not very often. <laughs> like, usually if they're floating up there and they're throwing out downers, you're like, okay, dude, just do that. That's cool. Like, I'm going to stay down here. Like, <laughs> But uh, Steelix actually going up there to get the stock was really impressive to me. Yeah, I, you can't be letting them just vibe there by the damn self here. You got to go and attack sometimes. It gets to keep them on their toes. 
Yo, Cody's ledge play has been so insane. Man, <laughs> I was saying Falco's good in the corner right here. Cody is good in the corner right here. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, trying to get an extension off the curve as well. Not playing out, unfortunately. But a very smart idea. I like it. Yep. Um, and now uh -oh. the Mr. We don't even need well, the Mr. Saturn. Co Cody said, I don't want it. Not a fan of Earthbound, I presume? Uh, Crazy. Do you even think Cody... If we ask Cody right now if he knew where Mr. Saturn was from, do you think he would know? I, I feel like you have to know at this point. I don't know, But man. then again... I didn't know for a very long time. Smash like, have like a tendency an, to like just, an like... an embarrassingly amount of, long amount of time. I didn't know. Don't, don't let it be you. Don't <laughs> let it be you. Listen, it's, it's you got to know your game. It's a game that's not in North America, though, you know? It, wa it was for the N64, then they, like, eventually that's true, ordered that's it. That's true, that's true, that's true. I think it was like for what the Wii U. It was definitely the Wii. Yep, it was the Wii U, and then they put it on 3DS. Yeah. I remember yeah. when that happened. That yeah, was like one sure. of the best days ever. All right, and it's it's, it's even right now. By the way, uh, Stilix has been growing into the game. Every time Cody gets like a a 60 70 uh, percent combo, I'm like, damn, Cody's just gonna run away with this. And then Steelix just slowly chips and chips and chips away. You and know, he stayed in it. The lace has definitely helped, but hold up, taking a jump right here. Another one. Uh oh, uh oh, getting trapped at the ledge. All right, back air setting up once again, and now you're kind of oh, just being you're, yeah, you're to the turn up B, uh -oh. which is not good here. This is definitely looking like. Cody yeah. stock, and there you go. Cody played that last stock situation so perfectly. Literally, I think that was a zero to death. Huh? I think Cody I, took I the stock. It. It's